Hey everyone, welcome to yet another Crafternoon at Home. This month, we will be learning how to do a simple embroidery stitch to personalize your clothes. First, let's see what we'll need. You will need embroidery thread in your preferred color. I'm using a six thread kind, which I think most come that way by default. You'll need a needle, either an embroidery needle or a sewing needle with a larger eye, a washable marker. Mine is actually a water soluble marker used in sewing, which is awesome. But if you don't have one on hand, a regular washable marker can also work. And lastly, an article of clothing. You can also have some scrap fabric on hand to practice your embroidery on first before committing to the real deal. However, that is just optional if you are are daring enough. Okay, let's go. So I've decided to personalize an old hat of mine. Hats are easy since your hands have a lot of space to work in and the material is pretty sturdy. All right, start by making your design. I thought it'd be cute to have my name on my hat in my favorite color, but I'm lazy and my name is kind of long. So I just decided to do my nickname in a simple cursive script. Thread your needle. I'm no expert, but this is how I've always done it. First, you'll string out an amount to work with, tie a knot at one end, and then thread the other end through the eye of the needle. I'm using a really big needle. I'd rather use a smaller one for this material, but I couldn't find my threader, and threading six threads in a smaller eye without one is near impossible for me. Okay, so the idea will be to follow along the lines that we drew earlier. Isn't that simple enough? Here's the stitch. This is called the back stitch. It's pretty straightforward. There are many other kinds of stitches out there in embroidery land, but they can be tricky to work with if you haven't practiced. I actually practiced the back stitch a bit before I started on some scrap felt. I definitely recommend practicing first, especially if this is your first time embroidering anything. Honestly, the back stitch works great with most simple designs, in my opinion. If you find that it doesn't work for yours, you can try simplifying your design or checking YouTube for video demos of various techniques. If you're working on pockets, be mindful not to accidentally sew your pocket shut. It can help to have a piece of cardstock in there to block the needle if you're having trouble with that. Lovely. In real time, this took about 14 minutes, so not too much time at all. All right, now you can personalize all the things with embroidery. Do you plan on trying this? What will you embroider? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for all the latest in library virtual programming. Thanks for watching and see you next time.